It was a beautiful spring day, and I was headed south on the Natchez Trace, south of Jackson, Mississippi. Right now is prime time for amphibians and reptiles to be migrating to their nesting areas. So I was watching very carefully to make sure I didn't run over one. Everybody loves turtles. A couple days before, I had helped four cross the road. Their problem is they can't move fast enough to get out of the way of cars. Many drivers are not paying attention, and they see that little lump up ahead and go, Oh, well, what's that? Whatever. Most people I see will swerve to avoid a turtle, or they at least will hope they don't hit one. That doesn't apply to venomous snakes. I don't like snakes, but I'm not going to kill one unnecessarily. Here are some facts. In the United States, the chances of dying from snake bite is nearly zero because of the available high-quality health care. 85% of snake bites are to fingers and hands, and 13% are on feet and legs. So when I saw this snake crossing the road, I decided I'd probably better stop and help it out. Turns out it was a cottonmouth. Other vehicles showed no interest in possibly helping the snake get across the road. In fact, while I was kind of flagging traffic to point out the snake, one guy stopped and said, uh, do you need some help killing that thing? I said, well, no, I think it's not hurting anybody out here. All it wanted was to be left alone to continue its journey. Anyway, it made it across the road okay. So please keep an eye out for these travelers, especially this time of year. You know, we don't need to be killing snakes just to kill snakes. This is Survival Common Sense. Thank you for watching.